Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone's having a great day. Well, today is part two of my review for DP Clubs. So let's see what we have here. All right. So we'll open the little package first. I was kind of excited to get these because I've gotten other ones but they were a different shape. So I thought, well, we'll just start in on the round ones. Oh, I almost gave it away, huh? All right, let me get rid of that. And we'll just cut that open. Yeah, it's another one of the needle threaders only. This one is round and it is sparkly as well. Come on, focus. Yeah, it's the dragons that I'm doing in cross stitch and it's round. It's got the same little ends on it. But we have round now as well as the oblong ones. So, is that not cool? Come on. That's got to be cool, right? Let me see. And this was $4.99. And it's made out of hard plastic. And these are really embedded, like in between two pieces of plastic. But yeah, I just love these. They are so cool. And they have a little magnet on them. So you can put your your needle on it so it's right there but what I do is I'm trying I'll just use this as an example hold that thought I have lots of other needle minder type things so I just use two and it sits on my fabric and then I put the magnet on the back and it holds it so yeah I just love them and they have several options in round or in oblong so yeah that is just too cool so let's take a look at the cross stitch I thought this was really pretty and yes I probably have three possibly four ones of this same option and I will put a picture here all right so as you can see it's tulips with a blue background just very beautiful very beautiful nice big pattern it is an 11 count it has product number how big it is and at the bottom, it's 125 by 90, and that's squares per square. 39 colors. Wow. Going to be lots of pinks and greens. Has 310 black. No 550 purple. It has 823, which is the dark blue. No 939. No 3371. I'm kind of surprised. Well, it's got green, so I guess there's no brown in that, huh? And it does not have any 3865, but this is very nicely printed. The paper pattern will match the canvas. It's kind of blurry right over here, but they're big areas, so I kind of expect it to be okay on the canvas. We'll have to take a look. And we'll compare in just a minute, so I'll set that aside. Now, it does come with a tool kit, five needles, poof ball, thimble, and needle threader, and we have the koi. Is that not cool? Yeah. Also comes with instructions, kind of wrinkled today, but it's very nice for somebody that's never, ever done this before. So, yeah, that's always handy. And the thread is all 
in its own bag. It does have the product number here so that you know it matches the kit. This is a 50 by 35, so it's kind of long and skinny. And let me tell you, it was $10.79, so not too expensive. These colors are awful dark. I'm getting kind of scared here. Maybe there's better. 310, a whole skein. Let's take a look. I guess it does have some pinks. Pinks and mauves and other purples. Let me look at that. Oh, I don't have a picture, do I? Not in my hand. I guess some of those are kind of a dark purple here. And some are lighter pink. So yeah, I guess I was thinking it was all like pinks and oranges. But it's not. Let me shake it out here. So you got gray tones, you got that lovely plum color. I think it's 154, either 154 or 152. You got magentas, dark reds, even like a rust color. And then on this side, you have pinks, shades of pink, shades of green. You got some more darker blue here. You have like a blue grays up in here. So yeah, it will be different. Not what I was expecting. I thought maybe it would be more pinks. So we'll have to see. And I want to take a look at the canvas. Let's cut the little frizzies off. It is surged all the way around, which is very nice. Most of the companies are doing this now. If you get some of the newer ones. Oh yeah, that is not going to matter. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Where is it? See how it's kind of blurred here? But it's all fine on the canvas and very easy to see. So, yeah, that won't matter at all. I don't know if they fold these things too quickly before they dry, you know, after they're printed. Or just what happens but we are we're golden because it's perfectly fine on the canvas let me check out the rest of the canvas the uh, surging does not go into the numbers it's like right on the edge so that's very easy to see but you're worried more about the symbols and how that goes but this is very nicely printed. I don't see any smears on the canvas at all. Product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. So it's all just like the paper pattern. Got another little piece of fuzzy right here. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I just love the way those tulips look. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's take a gander and see how big it is. It is 50 centimeters that way. It is a tad bit over 35 centimeters this way, or 14 inches. Actual picture size is 11 and a half inches, or 29 centimeters. And this way... It is 43 and a half centimeters or 17 and a quarter. So not very big. It's very nice. Very nice. And you know, this would kind of be a nice project to stitch in the middle of winter. You know, when you're, you just want to see flowers and you want to see green grass and all that. Yeah. I think it's going to be beautiful. And it's not too huge. You know, the, the, uh, the flowers themselves are not huge. Because on some of these, it was like, I don't know what I was thinking, but it's so close 
let's say, to the camera when they make it, that it just blows. I mean, the, some of the flowers are, what, six, eight inches around or whatever. It just, I don't know, kind of blows it all out of proportion. But this is very nicely proportioned over here. I don't know if you can see that. That is a flower, and it's only about three inches, three and a half inches in diameter or so. And then the rest of them are kind of little and skinny. And yeah, so very nicely proportioned. I like that. Because I think the bigger it gets, the more out of proportion. And you lose that definition. Does that make sense? So yes, very nicely done. And that is all that I got from DP Clubs. They do have diamond painting cross stitch and paint by number. They have tools and crafts for both of them. They have a separate Joy Sunday section. So if that's, you know, your bag and you really like Joy Sunday and that's all you buy, that's fine. That's great. That's what you do. Um, they also have lots of oh, crafts, you know, like the pillows. They have stockings and bookmarks and they do not have embroidery per se. So some of these stores have little embroidery, embroidered, if I could get the word out, pictures, you know, you can do of various things. They do not have any embroidery. And they also had the, they don't have the, uh, the silk embroidery. There's cotton or like on, we'll call it muslin for lack of what the real word is. I've, I think it's monk cloth. Is that the word? That they do uh, embroidery on. And I do have a 15% uh, discount code in the description below. And if they have any specials, I'll put them in there as well. And I think that is going to be it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.